a beer whose name derives from the famous story written by Gogol. It's beer o'clock and from Brasserie de la Seine in Brussels we have a bottle of their Taras Bulba Extra Hoppy Ale coming in at 4.5% ABV. Now, let's go back to the story about how this name come about. And they put a sort of a twist on a very, very old story. Now, you might have all seen the film Taras Bulba starring Tony Curtis and Yul Brynner. And basically, in the 1600s, there was quite a few wars between the Polish and the Ukrainians, the Cossacks, okay? And Taras Bulba, um, he had two sons. And basically, one of his sons falls in love with, with um, a Polish girl, the enemy. Um, and because he, in his eyes, he, his son's a traitor, he basically um, confronts him and says to him, I brought you into this world and I will take you out of it, and then kills him. So that's the sort of outline of, of, the, of the story wrote by Gogol in, a, in the sort of 19th century about this, this feud that happened in the 16th, in the 16th century. Um, okay, now, what Brasserie de la Seine has put a twist on this, right? They're mocking um, the, the fact that in, in Belgium, you've got the, f the Belgian people that speak Flemish and the Belgian people that speak French. So in Belgium, if you've ever been there, you've got two different languages in Belgium, depending on where you go in Belgium, depending on what they speak, okay? And this sort of depicts <coughs> on, 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 the, on the label that a father has found out his son is dating a French-speaking Belgium, right? <laughs> and he's basically having a go at him. And, and Smearlap is a sort of a take of the, the Flemish and the French words are sort of bastardised two words together and it basically means um, fool or bastard or whatever you want, the way you want to look at it, you know, it's, I sort of looked it up and it's, 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 it's sort of fool, bastard, that sort of thing. So he's holding his barrel up and, he's, and his son's cowering there and um, his son's shouting out to the father, you know, or his father's shouting out to the son smear up before he drops the barrel on his head so yeah it's it's an interesting sort of twist really to to this beer um you know i do love a beer that has a story and yeah it's a it's a it's a weird story but hey it does well so but before that further ado let's crack this open let's get it in a glass and let's give it a go and i got this bottle off of beer hawk believe it or not Oh, it's going to be a lively one, I think. There we go. I had visions of that exploding everywhere. Oh my word, doesn't that look lovely? It's a lovely cloudy yellow with a beautiful three finger white frothy head. Let's get the aromas. Oh my word, it smells hoppy, it smells funky. This is so yeasty, 
you're getting the the the, the, the candied sugar yeast, the bubblegumness, it's I'll tell you what, there's a lot going on in here for 4.5% for beer. It's real floral hops, fruity hops, bubblegum yeast, candied yeast. It, it just smells divine. Look, let's dive in and give it a try. Cheers. It's a lightish bodied beer, it's dry, it's bitter, the second sip's even more bitter. This, this is a really bitter beer, it really is. Grapefruit and lemon pith. The fruity hops really dominate this. And it's bitter citrus hops. God. Now, Brasserie de la Seine call this sessionable. You know, because it's 4.5%, they actually recommend that you buy this by the crate and get on a session with it. I actually don't think I could do more than two glasses, to be honest. It's a lovely beer, don't get me wrong, but there's, there's no way I could get on a session with it. There's no way. Um, it's, it's too bitter. And believe it or not, there's quite a bit of carbonation to this beer. It's better the more you sip it, but two, two glasses of this, two bottles of this would be my limit. It really would. Um, it's just so, so bitter, but it's lovely. I must admit, I do like it. It literally dries the inside of your mouth out. It takes all the saliva away. It takes all the saliva away, even, even my gums are dry. It's like it's just sucking all the moisture away from the inside of your mouth. Um, <laughs> This is a beer that, if you had a glass of this, you would have to have a glass of something else to put the moisture back in your mouth. <laughs> um, it's a great beer. Um, 
I've actually had it before, believe it or not, and um, I had it this time last year in Bruges, and it was um, we were in the Cafe Rose Red, and uh, we walked in and um, we said, what have you got and what do you recommend? And they actually recommended this as the first drink. And uh, they were actually right, um, because uh, we ended up participating in quite a few that night, because because this beer here totally dried our mouths out, and um, you wanted more beer to, to get the saliva back into your mouth. So, yeah, perhaps um, the Cafe Rose Red has this on tap all the time and recommends it to people as the first drink to, to, to make sure that they stay there and have a few more. Um, yeah, it was... It's, it's it's a good beer um it's a good beer to start the evening off with um it's not a beer i'd like to end the evening with and it's not a beer i'd like to have a session with but one maybe two glasses at the beginning of the night absolutely fantastic but there you go um look get on beer hawk get yourself a bottle try it see what you think leave a comment below give us a big thumbs up if you like the review hit that little bell get notified every time i bring out a new one and of course subscribe to the channel and like i always say beer is the answer but i cannot remember the question thank you for watching good night <coughs> tt says never play with matches fireworks and always drink responsibly.